In this video, we will see the second type of modularization technique that is function modules. So let us see the agenda for this session. So first we will cover the basic overview of function modules. Then we will see the particular example using the function modules itself. So what exactly are function modules? So function modules are simply the sub program that contain a piece of particular code that we can use in different different programs. So unlike include programs there are which can't run independently, these function modules can be run independently. So SAP has provided some predefined function modules that we can make use of. Moreover, we can also use our custom made function modules. And we have a function group which acts as a kind of container to for a number of function modules that would be logically belong together. For in this example, we will be making use of one predefined function module that is spell amount. So there are some components of function modules like import and export and exceptions, tables and changing. So import is used to get the input to the function module. Moreover, there is export which is like an output to the function module. Then there are some exceptions that we can mention it here and there is internal table that we have to provide as an importing or exporting parameter. Then there is changing which is a variable or a work area itself which acts as an importing and exporting parameter. So let us see an example on function modules. So, so to create a function model, module we have to go to SE37 transaction code that is the function builder. So here we can create our own function modules but in this case we are just using a predefined function module that is spell amount that is whatever input that we are giving that is 1 2 3 so it is converting into readable text like 123. So for that we have to create a program for and we have to go to SE38 that is ABAP editor screen we have we are creating a simple program named as Z, Z spell amount. So this is the report name that we are creating. So here we have to enter some code uh, so that we can make it as a parameter and we can pass it as an input to our function module. So to write our code for this we have to use our spell amount function predefined um, predefined function module and we have to call our predefined function module. So for that we are pressing control plus F6 and we will get a particular window there we have to write spell amount. So this is the window that we will get on pressing control plus F6. So here we can see spell amount is there. We have to pro provide this name as spell amount and click on this radio button call, call function and we have to press enter. So when, when we press enter we will get some code already written. So we can see here, here we can see some, we, here we have called our call function. So we can see this some code we, we are already getting that is exporting parameters and importing parameters. So in the exporting parameters we have mentioned num1, num1 we have set it here that is it is a type of a parameter and it is of the type integer. So similarly we have provided our importing parameter that is result. So whatever input we are giving we have provided in the exporting parameter and whatever output that we are getting we are getting it in the result. So we are just populating the result in our write statement. So if our size of RC that is if our program is not executed that is if it is not equals to 0 then we, we are getting this size of RC and if our program is executed successfully that is size of RC is equals to 0 then it will trigger the else condition and it will be populated here that is result hyphen word. So now with a simple program I will explain function module. So in this session we will be talking about function modules and another type of modularization that we can use in SAP ABAP. So the T code for creating a function module is SE37. So here this is function builder initial screen. We can create, display or change any function module. But for this particular session we will be making use of a predefined function module. I will just show you. So here I have already made a program here Z spell amount this is uh, this report I have already created there is nothing in the report only just the name of the report I will be adding code for this so when I click on display so here it is so in the previous session we already seen include programs so the basic 
difference between the include programs and the function modules is that in function modules there are parameters that we need to give that is in importing and exporting parameters moreover this um, function modules can be executed independently while the input that is include programs can't be run independently so here I will just change it now the user should have a input box for that we will be making use of parameters and once the input box comes the user must enter some simple number and when it, he executes it that number should be converted into words so this is the basic requirement so we will be making use of one function module here spell amount and I will just show you if I just click on pattern so this is the way now here I will write spell amount this is the predefined function module that we have so if I just click on OK that is this continue the whole code will be appearing here so this is the whole code so this is the way that we can make use of function modules in different different programs so now we can see there are multiple parameters here I am just uncommenting them so here we go so there is exporting parameters, importing parameters and exceptions so in this program we won't be needing exceptions I will just delete it from here so any amount that we need not give we can make it as blank itself so here amount would be required so our requirement is that we have to make user select the amount so we won't be hard coding the amount here we will give a parameter that is input box so that user can in enter the amount so for that we will be needing importing parameters that we can provide it here so that the result would come here and for that we will create a data and name would be something like this result it would be like spell here the spell is a simple structure it is uh, we have to save it here we go now if I just double click on it so this structure is also predefined one we can use it for this particular function module that's why we, I have used this so this result would go here importing parameters that is the output of this function module would come in the result so that's done now we have to do for this amount we have to make this amount not hard coded but we have to make the make it the user to enter in this and for that we will be making use of parameter it would be of type i integer so here we go if I just copy it and paste it here now whatever the user enters it would come here so that's it now we will just write it here so if sai sabasi is 0 that is if this whole uh, code is working correctly it, the value of the sai sabasi would be 0 itself and we will write write statement value returned is we can write anything here so here we go and in the else statement so we have made use of this result which is a variable um, of the type st structure spell and then we are making use of parameters so that our user can enter a particular number and that number would go into here that is exporting parameter so all these exporting parameters user has to give um, like here we have hard coded it SY length and the importing parameters is result so in this the value would be coming so it is printed here so I will now just save it and check for any errors so here uh, an, an error is here so let's check ok this should be this ok that's fine activate and run so now if I just enter a number here it would return 2314 so amount in words is 2314 so that's cool 
so now you know how a function module runs so we can make use of function module in different different reports so hence modularization is achieved so that's it for this particular video hope you understood it thanks for watching